Hello. Welcome. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I always think of that. Uh, let's welcome everybody here. Hi, folks. <laughs> welcome to Lately. Hi. Uh, David, Allison, Kate Bradley Turnus, if you're here, pop it in the chat and let me know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself. Hello from Stone Ridge, New York, where it is gorgeous. It's like the best place to be for the fall, except for Vermont, which is where I'm from, but it's pretty good. There's a antique uh, tractor out front, the apple cart that our neighbors put out. People think that there's this, all this farmland around us and they think that it's our farmland. It's not. We're just, we're just a house that's here <laughs> and the apple truck. And so then they think it's our apple truck, which is not, but it makes us look really cool and quaint and, you know, like apple we have trucks. it together, which we don't. Wow. Yeah. It's super cute. It's yeah, quaint. It's, so small, it's a, and it's a, it's the trust system, sorry, right? Where you, you know, you take a bag of apples, you leave them five bucks and. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, hi, Katie, Unkit, what's up? Who else is out there? We got Denver, uh, Vancouver. Where are you again, David? Hey, Peter. I'm in How's Vancouver. You in England? You're in Vancouver too? Right on. Is it, uh, there's nowhere to pick apples in Colorado. That's Lauren. What? Mm -hmm. It can't be true. Hey, Julia, how's it going? Toronto. Well, we got some Canadian Cindy, what's going on? School. There we go. Hey, Canada. Mm. I like to know where people are from so I can, so Tease they can them? secretly make fun of where we are. <laughs> 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 Which they probably are. Um, we're just going to wait till get, get maybe a couple more people in here real quick. Let us know where you're from. Um, I'm wearing lipstick today. Ta-da! So if you're wearing lipstick, I would like to know. <laughs> if you secretly would like to wear lipstick, I can send you some. <laughs> you would? I have to say, it feels good. I mean, you know, I've always been envious of men with facial hair. I don't want facial hair. But you guys get to do this. Yeah, you know? there's a thing you can, you can play with this. Yeah. And, and we get to do this. Yep. No, we, we all have our thing. We all have our thing. We're like Simpsons we characters. We need our little thing. We need, we need a little thing. Okay. So with that said, we do only have 10 minutes. So we should jump into it. I'm Kaylee from Lately. What's up? Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is David Allison. If you don't know David, um, ready to just get ready to have your a glow put into your world. He's a, a man full of joy and intelligence and um, a very funny wit, <laughs> right? And you're looking rather buff today. Also, I must say, t-shirt. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Gun show. Woo. <laughs> More than we all bargained for. Awesome. <laughs> An extra bonus. Um, so welcome to the diabolical fact of the month. Dun, dun, dun. Where we are going to share with you um, one of 56. So there are 56 traits, facts, um, tantalizing tidbittle words of sorts that categorize human behavior and why people react and do things you want them to do generally, but in sales and marketing specifically is what we're talking about, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So can I expand on that for just two seconds? Please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. Why is there only 56? I think that's an interesting thing to think about. So we've done all these hmm. surveys all over the world, half a million surveys now from all over the planet. And we ask people what they actually care about. What's important to them? What's, what's so important that it becomes a driving force in how they make their decisions about everything all day long? Those are our values. And there's only 56. So it's like 56 magnets. Humans are iron and steel and values are magnets. And we can't help but mm. go towards the magnets that are important that. to the us. Magnet. So there's only 56 magnets. And we're going to talk about one of them today. And if it's one that's important to your target audience, then they're going to be like, boof, they aren't going to be able to resist. If you figure out a way to just push that button and turn that magnet on, they're going to come because it's humans are hardwired to do that. They have no choice but to follow the things. That's they care right. About. I love that, that particular um, example too, like, cause you just made me think of animals and, and fishing. We've been fishing a lot here in the fall in, in uh, upstate New York. And when you use a fishing lure, like it doesn't really matter that it's not live. It just triggers something in the fish. They can't help but, yeah. but go and bite it, right? It's, yeah. it's it built in, right? So same, same idea. Okay, so today's diabolical fact is... 
personal growth. <laughs> it sounds like a personal Tony growth. Robbins novel or something, but it's a. <laughs> Uh, it's 73% of the American population list personal growth as being an important value wow. to them. It's number four on the list of the most important values. All 56 of those values, number four in the United States is personal growth. This is huge. Chances are, if you're listing, whatever it is you do for a living, whatever audience you're trying to attract, chances are with 73% approval rating on this particular value, this is going to work for you. The stuff that will tell you about personal growth. Okay, so who, anybody else, personal growth, a big one for me, it's a huge one, I'm, I'm live and die by it. I have, I've had two um, mental health doctor appointments so far today already, actually, which is why I was late to that last meeting, Lauren. Um, so yes, Cindy loves it, me too. Um, and it comes to, to your point, we're making fun, it comes in forms more than just a book, right? Although I guess that's a pretty easy one. Um, so first of all, what is it about personal growth, David, that ranks yeah. so high on the list? So, you know, personal growth is a value that people, that a lot of, 73% of the United States uh, has. And personal growth is people who really are um, always looking to learn new things on all kinds of ways. They want to improve themselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, creatively, however you can say to them about whatever it is you're trying to get them to do, whatever your product or service or brand is, you need to find a way to connect the dots for them and say, my thing is going to help you be a better version of yourself tomorrow in some way than you are today. People who are attracted to personal growth, 73% of the population will be like, huh? You're gonna make me better somehow? I'm all over that. And they're gonna to run towards you like that was steel to a magnet. It's a, it's, a, it's a diabolical fact that you can use for your <laughs> Okay, and so a key word you used there was like get better, make better, better is the word, right? So when you guys are thinking about your positioning, when you know that this is a trait that your customers will respond to. You wanna think about how to like say that your product is gonna make their lives better in some way. So better is the op optimum. Let me give you word. a really quick example from a piece of research we did. Okay. We just did a study on uh, what will get people to come back to restaurants. And people who go to restaurants frequently, oh my God. restaurants have, uh, restaurant patrons, frequent restaurant patrons, personal growth is a really important value for them. So as a restaurateur, you need to say to yourself, what is it about choosing to come to eat at my restaurant that's going to make you better? It's going to give you mm. something that you weren't going to have in your day and in your life other otherwise. You're going to get a chance to really have a great relationship with whoever it is you, you come to talk to. So you're going to grow in terms of that relationship. You're going to learn some new things about food. You're going to learn some stuff about wine. You're going to just have a chance to chill and relax and be in a nice place and forget what's going on in the outside world. Whatever it is you can say that's like, this is how we're going to help you be better. People will come mm. to your restaurant. Okay, so you're in, that's a hot button for all of us because like I, I'm not going to restaurants. I'm doing takeout. I'm, I'm not yet comfortable enough. So like no one has, has gotten the better, you know, in me just yet, which is interesting. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are trying to put themselves in their own shoes, in those shoes right now too, like thinking what about, um, what is it about like that a, a restaurant as opposed to home cooking that like, you know, we are so um, enthralled with, but that's another conversation. So let's try to do some copywriting live because you're so good at this, right? Okay. Um, do we want to do, um, what, what do we settle on? What's a good, good thing to think about? Um, somebody throw, why don't we get ask people in chat? Somebody throw out a product or a service and we'll try exactly. to figure Thank out you. how to do personal growth as it relates to that. Okay, yes, so quick, quick, quick 20 seconds. Everybody throw in some kind of product or service you want. David and I to do a brainstorm, mostly David, because he's super good at this. Pelotons, Shampoo Bar, a new book. Okay, so any of those sound good? Uh, car sales, one? nuts. Nuts. Um, Peloton, like the, the bike, oh, um, face okay. masks. Let's, 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 let's do that. We'll do Peloton, okay, and then if Peloton. we have time, we'll keep going. So Peloton's a pretty obvious one. You get on this bike. This isn't about a bike. It's not about a bike ride. It's not about just exercising. Yes, you're going to get physically fit, which is more, which is about personal growth. But because of the way Peloton works, and it's about being part of a community, you're also going to get to meet some other people. You're going to get to compete mm -hmm. with some people. That sense of competition, particularly if you're really good, it's going to help you feel like you did a better, you're a better version of yourself than you were before. You just won something. You just bested your own time. You just beat somebody else at their lousy time. Whatever it is, I mean, Peloton's <laughs> not going to say it like that. It's all going to be happy and smiley. But Peloton shouldn't be talking to us about how 
beautifully the gears work on their bike and how their bike is nice to look at because that's not what personal growth is about. How is this bike going to help me be a better version of myself? There's the obvious one, like we said, fitness, but there's so many other ways you could talk about personal growth as it relates to a Peloton bike. What was another one? Let's do more. I love that. Fun. Um, and I like you, you did the anti thing as well. It's not this. Let's do that again. So there's um, face backs, Face mask is one. Um, there's some home improvement, like repainting your living room, up, upgrading a balcony or terrace, golf, wine, home food, cars. Home improvement. Okay, Let's home, improvement. home improvement. Home improvement projects. We're all doing home improvement projects right now because we're all spending a lot of time at home. Uh, and I actually have a friend okay. who owns a, a really lovely furniture store, and their sales are through the roof because everybody's buying new chairs and new stuff to fix up their space where they're spending 24-7, 365 because we're not allowed to go outside and be in other places. Me too. So home improvement is, yeah, it's about making yourself feel better. It's about creating an environment where you can calm down, where you can feel less anxious, where you can feel more productive, where you can feel more cozy, where you can feel all of those things. It's, you're not buying a chair. You're not painting a room. You're doing things that are going to make your life better, that are going to make you better, that are going to help you feel like you've achieved something and moved. It's basically about wanting the graph of your life to continue to go like this all the right. time. That's what these people are chasing. So home improvement, I mean, it's baked into the word of home improvement. It's about improvement. That's, that's, a, that's, right. a, that's a nice one. Yeah, so it's interesting. Like someone was talking about paint. So like if you were appealing to this market with paint, it wouldn't be like a new coat of paint or the newness of the paint it might be like um, green is a calming soothing color or something like that right or, so you know what i can be very personal about this one we painted this place when we okay. moved in here four years ago and there's cracks and stuff on the wall we move our art around so there's holes in the wall and every time i walk up and down a hallway i'm like i hate these cracks i hate those holes in the wall and if i could make that go away with a fresh coat of paint and just feel like everything's a little bit fresher and nicer and cleaner. Fresh. That's what the paint is. It's not paint. It's about feeling better and having a better day and a better time in my space. There we go. Okay. I, lo I love this. So are you guys getting the, the, the gist of it? Hey, Julia, hey, Reed. Um, so it's the idea of, of understanding that your audience, A, responds to personal growth. That's going to be their trigger, their magnet. And then curtailing your message or your copywriting, right, around um, feel. I love this. You said feel a lot. You said better. There's a lot in those words. And then knowing what it's not. It's not the mechanics of the things. It's not the item itself. Oh, yeah. And we, we, right. that's the biggest mistake so many copywriters make and so many marketers make is they get all wrapped up in the new features, the, the benefits, that this thing has a button that does that and it has the a buzzy feature. thing that does that. Nobody cares about your thing. Nobody cares about your product or service. I promise you, no matter what you're doing, no one cares. The only thing they care about is what it's going to do for them. That's what they care about. So talk to them about how, it, in this case, personal growth. One of the, one of the uh, uh, 10, 10, uh, 56 diabolical facts we did previously was family. So it might be that family is the button that you can be pushing. And if you right. put these two together and you get two diabolical facts going, personal growth and family, wow, now you're really going. You can really go to town around why home improvement and home decorating at this moment in time is going to make you a better person because you've created a better environment for your family to feel like they're having a better time during these difficult moments that we're all living through right now. You get two of those things going and boy, you're really on fire. And the way to find out, just as we wrap up, just so people can be reminded, the, way, the best way to find out is to ask your customers, right? Absolutely. When we do customer polling and go into our CRM database, what we generally do is we ask questions like, how old are you? Are you a man? Are you a woman? How much money do you make? Do you have kids? Do you have 2.3 kids? What kind of car do you drive? What do you think about my product? What features and advantages do you like? How many times are you going to buy my product in the next 10 minutes? Have you already bought one? Do you own three? Are you going to buy four? That's the stuff we ask. Stop it. Ask instead... What are you worried about? What's on your mind? What do you think about before you go to bed at night? And what's the first thing on your mind when you wake up in the morning? And you'll start to see patterns in the noise. You'll start to see signals. It'll be like, wow, my people, my customers, they're all really, really focused on friendship or family or personal growth. You'll see patterns. Those are the values. That's the magnets that you need to try and write to. And you know what? One thing my agent has said to me as a public speaker over and over and over again is to stop using the claw and look at me. Here I am doing it. 
the magnet. So that's so funny. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's right. I mean, we we talk about this all the time, and and I'd love to see a quick poll here, but but there our research shows us that our customers are motivated by um, by human connection, right? So we ask them how they are all the time. Right, um, and in fact, internally, I was just talking about this to some investors. Like, what's unique about my team, who I love very much, is they're not motivated necessarily by money. It's not their motivation, right? <laughs> their their motivation is Thankfully. is uh, yeah. Thank, thank God, <laughs> lucky for me. <laughs> uh, but no, but it's interesting to know, like, what it's. Remember that book, like the four things. You know, your your Katie Jordan. You know this one. It's uh your your love. What is it? Your love time or something? Your love language. It? Your love language. Love language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So this is another way of like kind of tapping into this idea. Like, what do people care about? Anyway, so we gotta we gotta go. Um, I always hate going because it's so nice to get everybody together. Um, David, just a reminder. David Allison wrote the book Value Graphics. His company is Value Graphics. This is why he knows all this stuff. He's done. He's asked all these questions to people all over the world 500,000 people around the world now we've got a whole global it's database amazing. of what people care about it is pretty cool it's pretty fun yeah it is i mean the did didn't the un just hire you to like do something with them some work. the united nations foundation is using our data now to help with some of the humanitarian projects they're doing around the world so yeah that's a yeah that makes me feel good every day to know that yeah you're actually changing the world with this information and and we are the luckiest little company on the planet that we get you in general and, and for 10 minutes once a month. So thanks so much to David. Um, personal growth, words of the day, and we'll see you guys next time, okay? All right, thank Bye, everybody. you. Stay safe. Stay safe.